Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to do all the quests for Altric Valley. Now, I have to do these mostly on my priest because I did them all on my mage yesterday, playing grinding hard. Um, if I miss anything, you it's all streamed so you can see me do it on Twitch in the VODs. Um, but I wanted to give you a formal video on how to do it from start to finish. So pretty much the first quest you can get is in defense of Frostwolf. You come to the Frostwolf Ambassador in Org right here in front of the bank. And then um, you are going to want to go to Undercity, find a mage to port you. Or you're going to um, take the Zeppelin if you cannot find a mage to port you. And once you're over at Undercity, you're going to want to fly to Terran Mill. And once at Terran Mill, you're going to just want to go a little bit north to um, the Altric Valley hideout for the quests. So I'm going to go do that, guys. And then we will continue onward with the quests you can get there, as well as the quests that you can get inside of Altric Valley. So I will see you then. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so we got to Undercity, we got flew to Tarn Mill, and now we were running straight up into the base camp for Altric Valley. So this is the Horde base camp. I believe the Alliance one is I actually don't know where the Alliance one is, so I'm not even gonna take a stab at that. But in order to do this, um there are a few quests you can get to start. Invaders of Altric Valley. It bring three marks. Um it gives you five gold for that, which is pretty awesome. Um, you're gonna want to you could that this one right here is repeatable. It doesn't give you gold every time it only the first time Then we have this quest proving grounds Which is a pretty simple one as well. You can also get the battle for war song Which is get three war song marks if you want to do that and get started on your war song rep I don't as a caster. There's not really much for me to do there um, but for other people I definitely know there is and then um, there's this girl here who has three quests. And her quests are just pretty much take a position. Whether you're assaulting a mine, a tower, or a graveyard. She wants you to do all of those things. And then um, those are the six quests that are outside of it. Um, if you get a stalled game, like when everyone's zerging right now, trying to do six minute rushes and stuff. If you get a stalled game that lasts 20, 30 minutes, you'll be able to do all of these. Other than the v Mark of Honor, you'll have to win to get that in one. Because if you win, you get three. If you lose, you only get one. But these qu the quests outside are actually really self explanatory. The only one that you might not know is the um, Frostwift Banner which is kind of hard to do right away uh or it's not hard to do it's just there's a lot of ads in there it's actually not bad to just farm the ads in there they drop like five to seven silver per kill and there's tons of them in this cave but it's in the southeast corner of the cave um these are how to do the quest from the horde side guys i don't have an alliance 60 or i would make you a guide for that but I'd imagine it is very, very similar. So we're sitting in here waiting for Q. And once we're queued up, I'll go ahead and show you all the quests you can get while inside of Altric Valley. So I will see you all once this queue pops and get these quests done. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. So the gates are open. We're in our first AV on my priest. And what I like to do to get these quests done, really, is first quest that you're going to want to grab with an AV is going to be at Tower Point. There's a Forsaken commander here who wants you to go kill his human brother that happens to be at Icewing Bunker. Now, this one gives you 100 rep for um, Undercity, Orgrimmar, and the Frostwolf Clan. So it's definitely worth doing. Um, you can definitely do it with like two people. It's not a difficult quest Even I you might even be able to solo it solo it with your um, With a mage or something like that Then after you get that quest I'd recommend going into cold tooth mind to get your mind captured All you have to do is go to the very back 
kill the Cobalt Commander. Anyone that is present while and tags the kill will get credit for it. Um, looks like we have this warrior charging in here to try to do this. Um, these mobs are level 52. They do aggro, um, but they also de-aggro pretty quickly. So it, I'd recommend just running in here like I am. Um, that guy died. Unfortunate. Um, it is not necessarily the easiest thing to do. You can run into situations like this where you will die also. Not impossible, but the graveyard's right here. I was able to I'm going to res right here. Hopefully he will help me, but here is the commander, Taskmaster uh, Sneevel. <laughs> so we died, but hopefully this should give us credit for taking the mine. We did tag that guy if our warrior friend here can get the kill. And bam, mine captured, nice and easy. <clears throat> And then you can res at whatever graveyard it spawns you at. It actually spawned me over here because they captured Frostwolf Graveyard. Kind of unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, looks like the Horde is not doing too hot on their Zerg. And no one is stopping. Uh, no one's really stopping them. Which is something we don't like to see too much. But anyway, you can, re I believe recapturing graveyards count. So I'm going to go try to recapture this graveyard in tower to get the quest done. If it doesn't and I'm wrong, we'll just find that out right now. But that's where you can get those quests. Now, we're hoping the Alliance Zerg did not kill my um, horde people. Because that can make this guy, that can make this a longer process than it should be. This guy is recapturing the graveyard. So now we're able to head back here. Commander with a wing guy is killing our people. Not good. Alright, we do have the quest, which is nice. So we can go ahead and grab this quest, which is he's going to want us to get 20 armor scraps. Doing this the first time gives you a lot. It is repeatable. So make sure you do it once at the very least. Um, if you come across any dead horde or dead alliance to get more armor scraps, I would definitely say go grab it. Now we're here with all the alliance players. Um, that graveyard has a quest to go visit the wing commanders, but it looks like they killed that guy. Yeah, they killed him. He's a torn right there. That'll tell you to go find all the commanders. I'm not going to be able to kill those guys, so it's going to be hard to get up there and get the quests and stuff. But the last quest that we would gather is right here, and that's to go visit all three of your commanders. Oh, wow. I guess there's a barrier here. That's weird. <laughs> I thought I could just jump in right there. Alrighty, guys. So that's it for this one. I think this um, game is going to end before we can get it. But the Frost Wolf Banner is in this cave right here. There are a lot of trogs in it um, that give a lot of money. So we're going to enter here. It's the Wild Paw Cavern. Alrighty, guys. So after dying, we are able to respawn here and kill these... Uh, Wild Paw. Um, definitely going to try to mind soothe and get up here and grab the banner. I really don't want to kill anything. It's a five second cast, so you should be able to get it nice and easy like that. And bam, that is the Frost Wolf banner for you guys. That's two of the most obnoxious quests here done really quickly. Now I'm just going to choose to die so I can get out of this cave quicker. Respawn. There's no penalty for dying in AV, so don't really worry about it. They don't even do durability damage. And then, bam, we're back up. Full HP, full mana. Here's an alliance that I can probably actually kill. I, I say that, and then he might actually end up killing me. 
Ah, my dot and this wolf should kill him. Easy. So this guy is dead. And now we grab this insignia. Get those armor scraps. And turn in this quest. So I would definitely recommend doing these first three on your first run through. In most Zerg games, you'll it'll be over before you can do really anything else. Um, this one is more of a delayed Zerg, which is what a lot of people are going for but right there frost wolf increased 100 org increased and we just lost and got one. alrighty guys so when capturing the graveyard one of the very easiest ones in the game to get is snowfall graveyard it starts off neutral which is what makes it so easy to grab um the alliance is here um the alliance captured this so their guards are defending it but it's not terribly hard to capture at all really Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, we're not going to get it. Dang it. All right. That's all for the guards. And nice and easy capture right here, guys. And now we're just going to hope we can kill Van before they kill Drek. And we will win the game. All righty, guys. So we've made it to Icewing Bunker. And here is Commander Carl Phillips. This is who we're going to try to kill. Um, this is for the quest Brotherly Love. Um, we should have him pretty nice and easy. I missed capping that graveyard, um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the tower here. Um, commander's killed. Nice and easy. Hopefully I can cap the tower now for the quest. Um, this is where one of the wing commanders is located. You should get the quest completed just for walking in here. And now we're able to cap this tower, which will give us the tower assaulted quest completion. So it's pretty nice and easy. Bam, tower captured. Um, I always kill these bowmen because they are incredibly obnoxious and do a ton of damage. But three quests can essentially be done right here at Icewing Bunker. Nice, quick, and easy. So once you do those three of capturing the... Um, capturing the tower if you're lucky you can get the graveyard um when you go for the graveyard just make sure you're like the second person because if you're first you're going to be too soon and people are going to run past you and or there's guards and a lieutenant guard in it so usually someone aggers them and continues to run um if you're late then you won't be able to get that then we come up here this is where the second wing commander is located right here inside this hut you're just gonna run up here and you get credit for it. Um, I, I always tell them to go back because they're level 60 elites or 58 in this case. They just nice and easy run back and could get, uh, and can actually help you a ton. And then you're up top here to what makes it look like you're going to the Alliance starting spot um, but I, he, I just drop right down here and then we're going to try to get this graveyard up ahead and hopefully kill, uh, Van. And then the last, um, wing commander is in the north bunker. Don't run across this bridge solo. It is, uh, it's suicide. You're going to die. Like just straight up, flat out, you will die. Cause these archers are ridiculous. They pelt you for tons of damage. And if you're not a healer or have some some form of living, you're going to get destroyed. Just straight up. So we're going to try to run up here real quick for you guys. Grab this uh, wing commander. Hopefully we don't die. That would be very sad if we do. All right, we had to use a pot, but we've made it. The last commander is right there. And bam, he is discovered. And what you can do is tell him to go out and onward. Since I made it up here and I have a clear cap of the place, I'm going to cap it. 
And that guy is going back. Nice and easy. This druid's healing me like a friendly druid, which is good. But that's it, guys, for these quests. That's finding all of them. The only thing I could do now is assault the graveyard and kill Van. And doing all that would win and complete all of these quests. So that pretty much concludes it. If I get those footages in this game, I will absolutely show you. But we're looking like we're slower than the Alliance here. Alrighty, guys. So as last game, I was very lucky and someone shared this quest. But this is where you turn in Fallen Skylords and get it to do visit all the Wing Commanders. Um, for an additional 100 rep with Frostwolf and Orgamar. As well as all these quests give you gold. Like, we haven't done anything on our priest, and we made 30 golds here just from doing all these. So, it's a nice, easy 30G, at, at least. Like, we still have to get the Marks of Honor um, and kill Van. So, I'm really hoping we win and kill Van this game. Um, but we'll just have to see how it plays out. But anyway, guys... That's it. That's all the quests that you can do. Um, and I really hope this helps you. You know, yesterday when I was doing on my mage, it took me several AVs to do it. Here on my priest, this is the third one. You know, if we were able to win that second one by killing Van, which we were fighting him when we lost, I would have been able to do all of them in two uh, runs. And so, yeah, I really hope this helps you guys and you're able to complete it. Um, this is where you turn in brotherly love as well since I did com finish that But I really really hope this guy this helps you a lot guys and you're able to get your quest done earn a little bit of gold as well as finish um, Your frost wolf clan reputations Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye if you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.